Hi, it's Gordon with the Arizona One Real Estate Team, and today I'm answering the question, how do I get my offer accepted in a seller's market? Let me briefly explain what a seller's market is. It is a market where the seller has the upper hand in most cases over the buyer. And when we are in a seller's market, I constantly get the question, how do I get my offer accepted? Number one, it truly matters who you work with. In a seller's market, you need to be working with an experienced buyer's agent. That's an agent that primarily works with buyers. Some great questions to ask the buyer's agent you're choosing to work with. How many deals have you successfully negotiated in the past 12 months? And maybe even ask them to tell you about some of the stories and experiences they've had in successfully negotiating terms for their clients. Number two, it's not always about price. So many times buyers think it's always about price. And yes, sometimes it is only about price, but sometimes looking at terms as well. Well, when you're competing with other buyers, looking at things like extended closing dates or leasebacks, or maybe other items that might be important to the seller. When you're working with an experienced buyer's agents, they will reach out to the seller's agent to find out what some of these terms are. Number three, always get pre-qualified for a mortgage ahead of time. So many times buyers are out there shopping for homes and haven't even completed the mortgage pre-qualification process. When you go to write an offer, your agent's going to submit that pre-qualification with your offer. And a strong pre-qualification shows that you are a strong buyer that the seller should want to work with. And number four, you need a great team on your side. Your realtor, your title company, your lender, and even your home inspector. You need a great team in place. Your realtor should be able to help you put that team in place because when you write your offer, you need the team to reach out to that seller's agent, telling them how great you are and why they should work with you and choose your offer. And number five, I think this is the most important in a seller's market. Always put your best foot forward with that initial offer. I always tell my clients, when you write that initial offer, put yourself in the shoes of where you are tomorrow. When I call you and say, hey, you didn't get the house, and that buyer says, I should have done this. I always say, put yourself in that position today and write that offer, write it strong, write it the first time. That way when the seller gets the offer, they know that your offer and you are the people that they want to work with. Thank you for watching, and I hope you find our videos to be useful. I would love to answer your question on our future videos. This is Gordon with Arizona One Real Estate Team. My information is right here. I look forward to hearing from you.